We visited the sugar shack run by Mary Arquit and her husband Dave at the Junguanadillo Heritage Center grounds in Aquazaste. This warm, sunny morning would mark one of the last days of sap gathering for the season. It was also the day the students from the Mohawk Language Teacher Certification Program would be in attendance to learn the process in Mohawk. Let's go look at trees. <laughs> He's tapped it here on the south side mm -hmm. because it gets the most sun mm -hmm. and warms up the tree fastest. So de jalo, oska aya ne ono wajista, dano onelate o hunjage akta o guilakta ne wata. Hagino. Jitati zastunyata. So now we're going to go into the sugar shack and listen to some more, probably in Mohawk, which is the way she's teaching them. Once sap was collected, we gathered inside where Dave explained the next steps in creating maple syrup. We gathered for a sample of the sap water, and thanks was given by student Gaguilo de Cook. Can you translate the those words? So I'm giving thanks to the sap and thanks to the, um, to the creator mm -hmm. to give us um, the untuggers, mm -hmm. the maple sap. Before you drink any like olundugli, because this is medicine. And so before you drink this, or um, strawberry drink where Olundagali is in it, or Wataosis is in it, then you should always be thankful first. So it's just like when you pick medicine, any medicine, you know, you have to say words to the, the leader of the plant and ask for permission. Dave and Mary graciously gave students samples of their maple syrup to take home. For Aquasasani TV, this is Louis Jacobs.